Hello there, I thought I'd revisit that good old tinted lip balm topic to update you on new formulas I'm enjoying, plus some old favourites of course. If you fancy a trip down lip balm memory lane, you can find my previous videos in a new blog post. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, it's been a pleasure working with them over the past two months while I built MatildaOnVideo.com. I'll share more about my future plans for my website later on. Tinted balms are always my solution for a simple, subtle, quick wash of colour. If you're after intense pigmentation, you're not in the right place. They're designed to be sheer, buildable, comfortable, but they're not necessarily always that hydrating on me. I sort of have different approaches with lip balm formulas, I'm planning to get into that in a video in future. Tinted balms are easy to apply on the go for a touch of colour and shine, but they're never something I reach for if my lips are really dry and need repair. That's partly because I don't tend to find these types of formulas super nourishing, but it's also a personal preference because if my lips are dry, I like a much thicker texture and always rub my lips together to work the balm in, and that's not going to work with something tinted, way too messy. So these are tubes I grab when my lips are already in fairly good condition and I just want a slick of comfortable colour. There were a few formulas that were really on the fringe of this video. Products I love like Ilia's Tinted Lip Conditioner, Pat McGrath's Lip Fetish Balms, YSL Rouge Volupte Shine, and even Clinique's Chubby Sticks. But even though these products have balm in the title, they're really more of a sheer lipstick to me. What's the difference? Definitely not an exact science, but I think of sheer lipsticks as having a bit more pigment than a balm, a thinner texture, maybe the feel of a regular lipstick instead of the softness of a balm, and a more solid bullet. I previously merged sheer lipsticks and tinted balms into one popular video but thought I'd separate them out this time. These are certainly not all of the tinted balms I use and definitely not everything on the market, I just picked a few categories to feature from my collection. Some high-end and well-established beauty names, some newer, big on social media type brands, some clean beauty picks, and some Aussies. Starting with some more luxurious lip balm options. Fresh's Sugar Tinted Lip Treatments are a regular fixture on my channel. I still need to film a swatching update with other shades I've tried since I spoke about these in the very early days of like this one coral. I loved their deep discontinued red passion and haven't tried the new bright red icon but coral is a vibrant juicy shade that reads quite red on me too. I love the sweet citrusy scent of these balms, how buildable the colour is and the super smooth almost filmy feel on the lips. The Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Lip Balms are a lovely pick for luxury beauty fans. I use all of their shades but medium is the red tone I reach for most, surprise surprise. It's actually fairly similar to coral above but even more sheer and washed out. These feel barely there and just brighten up the face even if you don't have any other makeup on. The famous Dior Lip Glow range has appeared in several of my videos and I swatched their most recent shade Rosewood a couple of weeks ago with the rest of their products in this colour family. Even though their 001 Pink Lip Glow is their signature shade, it's such a bright candy pink so I like that this one is more low key. It still adds a flush of colour to my lips but in a much more natural way and that classic minty flavour feels refreshing. Bobbi Brown's Extra Lip Tints are a light, super smooth formula for a barely there look, hence the shade names. Bare Blackberry is quite a true purple berry on me. It's not a strong colour so it just makes my lips have a slightly cooler tint to them, almost like you've just eaten a berry lolly or icy pole. This kind of colour feels very fitting heading into winter here in Australia but it could also let you channel some summer berries. The NARS Afterglow lip balms have been a big hit since they launched last year. I believe their classic orgasm colour was the first but they've since extended the range and have several other shades I have my eye on. This classic pink tone with very fine gold shimmer makes your lips look nice and full. There are some nice nourishing oils in the formula but as I mentioned in my general tinted lip balm disclaimer, these are all balms I wear for colour and a bit of comfort, not hydration specifically. If I want a bit of both, I'll prep my lips with a more hydrating balm then layer these on top. Time for some more fun, spot them all over Instagram sort of products. Glossierbalm.com is certainly a popular pick online. You can see every flavour swatched and hear more detail on the formula in another video, but as a red lip lover, cherry is the tint I find myself going back to most. Cherry and berry are really the only two in this range that give you noticeable colour. The slightly medicinal taste won't work for everyone, but I like that this makes my lips look slightly deeper, like a just bitten colour. M Cosmetics Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer appeared in my recent spring makeup video and it fit that peachy colour theme perfectly. This twist up stick only comes in one shade, Magic Hour, so far, but I'm hoping that might mean they're planning to add more in future. This is a great peachy nude tint with a cushiony feel and plenty of shine so it really catches the light. 
The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Lip Pop launched earlier this year and is a triple threat on the lip scene. It's a balm, exfoliant and tint in one. It creates a real pop of pink and AHA is meant to gently smooth and exfoliate your lips, but I personally prefer the feel of a physical sugar scrub. The reason I've enjoyed swiping this on so much and making the bullet go a very strange shape is the watermelon flavour, a super sweet, nostalgic taste like a lip smacker. A few picks from the clean beauty category now. Still planning to talk through the definition of clean beauty or lack thereof in a video in future, but generally speaking, these types of formulas focus on natural ingredients. Kosas launched their Kosas Sport capsule in February 2019, but the only product in this category so far is their lip fuel balms. These sleek looking tubes are packed with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and other natural oils, plus a fresh minty scent. They feel super smooth and gel-like on the lips. Pulse is my favourite of their two tints, a really deep, rosy, peachy tone that's actually quite pigmented for a balm. One of the most recent lip launches in this lineup is the RMS Beauty Tinted Daily Lip Balm. These just launched at the end of April, but I'd been secretly testing them for a couple of months behind the scenes. There are three tinted shades, but at the moment I'm enjoying Passion Lane, a pretty pink with a touch of shimmer. One or two swipes of this just perks up my lips. This also comes in their ethereal lip and cheek set with a lovely matching lip to cheek shade you can see in my Sephora video last month. You know about my love for Olio e Osso balms, there are so many great shades to choose from, but I love the really fresh faced, flushed monochrome look when I swipe number 13 Poppy onto my lips and cheeks. I actually wear their balms as a dewy sheer blush more often than on my lips, but they're one of the best picks of the entire bunch if you're after really subtle, barely there colour and something that can multitask. A couple of Aussies to run through now. Mecca Cosmetica is my favourite beauty store in Australia and I love the products from their in-house brand. That black sunscreen tube you've seen in my videos a million times. Yep, that's them. But I also enjoy their Lip Delicious Glide Balms. They're the stick version of a pot formula I've used for years. I love the very subtle pale pink tint of the shade Natural, but Rose here has a lot more impact. It's a great deep rosy berry that makes my lips look more plump. Love that luscious shine like a gloss and yummy vanilla taste. Ultraviolet is an amazing Aussie sunscreen brand and they've got your lips covered too. Definitely an important part to protect. Their Sheen Screen SPF 50 Balms come in four shades and I love Nude. They recently had a packaging revamp so this is their new look. My other balms are a lot more worn out. These are juicy and thick enough for me to wear every day at my desk, not just when I'm heading out. No sunscreen taste whatsoever, just yummy cocoa butter. Finishing with the balm I get the most questions about. Anytime Time I make a lip balm video and Burt's Bees doesn't appear, I never hear the end of it, but I'd always just used so many other formulas before I finally got into these in the last couple of years. They've popped up in a couple of other videos and their tinted shade Red Dahlia ticks that browny red box I love, but it's a very low key version of the colour. This one was a suggestion from a viewer a long time ago, so thank you very much. I'd love to hear which shades you enjoy from their range. If you're craving more lip balm content, there's a new post on my website, Matilda on Video, where you can catch up on my previous videos. I built this website using Squarespace back in March so it was great to tick off one of my goals this year and set up a hub for my content. I've used several different website platforms and content management systems in the past for both work and play but this has easily been the most user-friendly experience. They have all the features I was after, I could completely customize my site, it's easy to embed videos, I can see built-in analytics and potter away at blog posts. My plan for my website was never to blog really frequently because YouTube and Instagram are always my focus but it's a perfect place to share art answers to frequently asked questions or topics or lists I always cover a lot in DMs. Where to shop for beauty in different cities, how do I get Glossier in Australia, and any other beauty or travel information you'd like to be able to refer back to. So I'd love to hear what sort of content you'd be interested to see going forward under my usual beauty and travel banner. If you're interested in setting up a blog or website, Squarespace offer a free trial then when you're ready to launch you can head to squarespace.com slash Matilda for 10% off your first website or domain name purchase. They've been fantastic fantastic to use, great to work with, and I really appreciate all of the lovely feedback about my website. Back to the balms, let me know if any of you have a bit of a tinted lip balm addiction like I do. Which formulas do you enjoy for a bright pop of colour or something more subtle? Do you have a similar approach and wear them more for colour than hydration, or do you have a great balm that ticks both boxes? Please share your favourites, any new discoveries, and the ones you always have rolling around at the bottom of a bag. Thanks for watching, see you next time!